Hey there, everybody. Amber at Freedom Fam. Welcome back to the Remington 700 Resurrection Part 4. Um, as you know, I did mention that I was going to remove the barrel. Just went ahead and just locked her down in the pipe jaws in the bottom of the vise. So now that bench rest pull barrel is out of here. As I mentioned before, I did get the initial cleanup on the bolt. As you can see, nice and clean. Another side note. Now that I have the bolts all nice and cleaned up, I can clearly read the last four digits of the serial number from this receiver. So from Remington, these two were matched to show correct headspace for this rifle. It's important to go ahead and, especially if you're buying a U700 and it's all original, go ahead and uh, double check that that serial number, the last four digits, is on your bolt body. Now, as we mentioned before, there was a lot of grime and gunk. This is an example of some of what's been pulled out so far using the good old GI bore solvent. What I did today with the receivers, I went ahead and this morning, about an hour ago, took some Q-tips, soaked them in it, went ahead and spread it across the gunkiest parts, such as the trigger area and the bolt release area. Now why? Because like we talked about before, hopefully you can see it. Try to catch the light just right. This old trigger is pretty gunked up and nasty and all that's also in the receiver. I don't want that in the receiver. So after letting her soak with the good old bore solvent, all that crap literally just lifts right out. So going down into the magazine was pretty, pretty gunked up. And then an area that I do want to make sure is as clean as humanly possible is the threads in the receiver as well as where the barrel is going to bottom out in the receiver. I don't want anything in there that's going to give any kind of distance or space between the barrel and the receiver when she goes back together. I also don't want any crap left in the threads. So this GI bore solvent is great, lifts it right out. Let's grab another spot. This kind of not going to bore you all sitting here, Q-tipping this whole receiver out. Just some things that uh, I like to make sure is is that anywhere, especially where I had gunk, chunks of rust, dirt, I'll go through and I'll give it a good once over with the bore solvent, and then I'll actually get in there. If I was a pro, I would have done this already. But I'll take an AP brush and I'll literally go in and I'll scrub the barrel threads. I won't go in there with a steel brush. I go in with a nylon. And uh, I'll get the little side. Those bristles are a little bit stiffer. And I'll literally make sure those barrel threads are literally as clean as I can get them. So I want everything as pristinely clean as possible before I reassemble. I don't want any false measurements for headspace. Maybe there's a chunk of grime or something stuck in there. I don't want any of that. And uh, definitely don't want any issues with a dirty bolt before assembly. I'm not going to worry about doing a high gloss polish. I just want it nice and smooth and clean. Bolt face is nice and clean. Bolt body is cleaned out good. That trigger is a gunky mess. Not even going to play with it. I have some other factory takeout triggers where customers have had Timonies put in. I'm going to do this on a budget as if you were doing it in your garage. So for part four, receiver cleanup will be finished today. Bolt body is finished today. Probably going to get the barrel ordered today. It's going to be a few weeks of lead time on the barrel. So part five will come up later. And part five will be the actual fitting of the rematch style barrel with the Savage bolt or the Savage uh, barrel nut. Like I said, no outtakes here. I'm not editing shit. Screw it up, you screw it up. But next, barrel and fit. So everybody stay safe. Everybody that's watching, I, I appreciate the fact that you're watching. If you have any tips and tricks that I'm missing, by all means, put them in the comments. The way we all get better is by we share knowledge with all of us. So that's all I got today. Stay safe. As always, hydrate. It's the new catchphrase. It is what it is. And we'll catch you for part five when the barrel gets here.